ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುನ್ಮೀಲಿತಂ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾಮಯ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರೋ ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂಶ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥ ವಿತಂ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಾದ ಸಹಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನುತಾಂಶ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ಯತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶು ತಾರಿಣೆ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮಿನೆ ಗೌರ ತುಷೆ ನಮಃ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನ ಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಕಾಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮೋಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ವಾಂಚಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧೋ ಭಯವ ಪತೀತಾಂ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಗಾಯತೆ ಗಿರಿಂ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾ ತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೋ ದೀನ ತಾರಿಣ ಸೊ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೆಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿ ಎನಿ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಈವನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಸ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ around yet but <laughs> that's okay uh, that's fine we'll see <clears throat> all right um so we can get started uh, let's and we'll we'll talk uh, about yes prabhu ji subah damodar ashtakam nahi karte hain kya actually maine subah morning jab apna shringar aarti hoti hai tab bhi kara tha to nahi karte hain kya morning mein ನಹಿ ಕರ್ತೀ ಕರ್ ಬಟ್ ಈವನಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ವಿ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಮೋದರ್ ಮಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫಿಶಿಯಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಮದರ್ ಈ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಉದಯ ತಿಥಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ Okay. but that's still okay i mean we do can we can do it <laughs> any time ye koi karm kaand jaisa to kuch hai nahi matlab we do it with love uh, for the lord uh, agar uh, meaning nahi padhi hai to ek baar do baar meaning bhi padhni chahiye so that we understand what we are doing uh, yeah. it's a very beautiful song so yeah but generally we do it in the evening that's yeah. the idea yeah. Yeah. okay ha uh, matlab kar sakte hain aisa kuch problem nahi hai morning if you feel like any time any day of the year we can do it okay <clears throat> so we can get started with uh, this first yeah it will answer couple of questions <clears throat> very relevant uh, for now <clears throat> okay let me decide matra sparsha astu kaunteya shitoshna sukha dukhada agam apaino anityastams titikshasva bharata 
Um, anyone wants to recite? Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Yeah. मात्रा स्पर्शेष्टु कांते या शीतोष्णा सुखदुक्कदा आगमना पायो नेत्यस्तांसितिक्ष्वस्त भारता हा ओके थैंक यू एनीवन एल्स हरिकृष्णा प्रोजी मात्रा स्पर्शेष्टु कांते या शीतोष्णा सुखदुक्कदा आगमना पायो नेत्यस्तांसितिक्ष्वस्त भारता या थैंक यू all right. Um, yeah. Any Mataji? Monster site? Yes, Prabhuji. Okay. Matras Parshas to Konte, yes, he took Shitoshna Sukadukada, Agama Pino, Nitas, Tatas, this Tikshas. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Um, yeah. So, translation by Shil Prabhupada. O son of Kunti, the non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress and their disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perceptions, O scion of Bharata, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. Okay. <clears throat> um, simple sa lagta hai vars, matab, I don't know <laughs> if you think uh, otherwise, but uh, let's talk about it a bit uh, <clears throat> so yeah even before beginning uh, thank you everyone for for being here um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah this verse teaches us tolerance uh, and i hope you'll be able to tolerate me <laughs> uh, in my given condition so we'll talk about mostly like you know why should we tolerate and what it is all about um, yeah so this subject is in fact important because as they say ki matlab you can measure one person's character by their capacity to tolerate difficulties because ye uh, life ka such hai matlab uh, problems keep coming and what is it all about uh, we'll try to understand in fact this verse is very interesting uh, isse kuch verse pehle in fact ek verse pehle tak bhi aur agli verse mein bhi aur aage bhi uh, krishna keeps talking about soul now suddenly this thing comes about tolerance ये क्या है ये सब मतलब सडनली ये कहां से आ गई सो वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज इट ऑल अबाउट सो इनफैक्ट इन द प्रीवियस श्लोका वी हर्ड फ्रॉम दैट यू नो बिगिनिंग ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज लाइक यू नो इज द नॉलेज ऑफ सोल राइट कि मतलब उसके पहले कुछ भी नहीं होता सोल के जाने बिना सोल को समझे बिना ये समझे बिना कि हम खुद सोल हैं uh, आगे नहीं जा सकते हैं दैट इज वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड इन I hope in enough detail. Uh, if not, we can go more. So, so basically, हमने ये बात की कि हम हम ब्रह्मास्मि, right? हम ब्रह्म वस्तु हैं. We are eternal. We are blissful, right? So, in fact, in 2.12, just a verse before that, uh, Krishna basically says कि we are never going to die, right? हम पहले भी थे और आगे भी होंगे और ऐसे ही individual होंगे. So, so that is what Krishna says. Uh, in the in that verse now iske pichli jo verse thi that uh, where krishna tells us that hamari jo bhi problems hain that is because of the misidentifying with the gross body because humne apne aap ko ye body samajh liya hai aur uh, hum ye body hai nahi we are a spirit soul which is sachidanand right so that is a misidentification and a lot of fact all the problems that we get into is because of this misidentification it's the core of our problem now <clears throat> yeah in fact to understand it better it is almost like uh, 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 almost like a court hota hai right court mein judge hota hai criminal hote hain aur witness hote hain now witness ka kaam ye hota hai ki uh, जो देखता है कि क्या हुआ खून हो रहा था तो उसको वो देख रहा होता है उस खून को होता हुआ राइट सो दैट इज द जॉब ऑफ अ विटनेस सो सिमिलरली लाइक अ विटनेस जब हमारी बॉडी में चेंज हो रहे होते हैं ना तो सोल विटनेस कर रहा होता है ओके सो दैट विटनेस इज द सोल विच इज सपोज टू नॉट आइडेंटिफाई विद द क्राइम सीन राइट सोल का मेन काम ये होता है कि विटनेस करे बट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली थिंग्स दैट ही इज बींग मर्डर 
बट एनी सो बेसिकली अगर सोल नहीं होता और अगर सिर्फ बॉडी ही होती राइट आई मीन हम लॉजिकली भी समझ सकते हैं इस बात को तो हमें ये पता नहीं होना चाहिए था कि बॉडी कभी बच्ची बच्चा था और बॉडी कभी यंग था ये सब आपको फील नहीं होता बट हमें पता है कि मैं एक समय पे बच्चा था राइट right? और उस समय पे क्या चल रहा था थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट सो दैट वी एक्चुअली वेन वी थिंक अबाउट इट तो हम अपने आप को एक अलग पर्सन की तरह देख विटनेस कर पाते हैं बट हमें ये भी पता होता है कि मैं बच्चा था राइट आई मीन सो हम आइडेंटिफाई भी करते हैं अपने आप को बच्चे की तरह सो so, सो so ये ये सारे चेंजेस सोल विटनेस कर रहा है और uh, हमें फिर भी पता है कि मतलब यू you नो know, अगर मैं बच्चे से बड़ा हुआ तो भी मैं चेंज नहीं हुआ मैं वही पर्सन हूं सो दैट इज द सोल दैट आई नेस इज द सोल दैट्स वॉट वी वे डिस्कसिंग लास्ट टाइम इनफैक्ट बेसिकली uh the problem as as i said right you know because it came to the material world and misidentifies with itself and thinks that i am i am this body uh, that is the cause mostly that's what we were discussing right so in this verse uh, krishna now talks about misidentification with the subtle body theek hai iske pehle wali verse thi ki how the misidentification with the gross body works and what Uh, are the trouble you get into into because of that and this verse is about how you misidentify with the subtle body okay so uh, as we all know i hope ki uh, last time hum baat kar rahe the right ki matlab the, the 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 symptom of the soul that soul exists the symptom is consciousness right because if if just to figure out ki ha soul hai ya nahi hai uh, consciousness say you can tell that uh, soul ex- soul is there so and consciousness hai ye kaise pata chalta hai kyunki pleasure aur pain hota hai agar ek conscious body ko very simple crude way of figuring out ki ha pain hota hai aur pleasure hota hai aur uh, ye kaise hota hai body ke through hame pleasure aur pain pata chalta hai because jo atma hai wo uh, us pleasure aur pain ko uh, infer karti hai jo body ko ho raha hota hai aur uh, isko dekh ke bhi aap bata sakte ho ki ha ye dead hai aur ye alive hai Just by looking that अच्छा इसे pain हो रहा है या नहीं हो रहा है right? So, so that is uh, another way of knowing about it. So मात्रा स्पर्श basically तो मात्रा का मतलब होता है matter, okay? और स्पर्श means touch. So it is about material touch, okay? So, so basically मात्रा स्पर्श generally means like you know जो <coughs> जैसे कि अगर आपने अपने हाथ को rub किया, so when you rub your hands तो आपको कुछ एक सेंसेशन होता है राइट right? एक इचिंग सेंसेशन होता है फॉर एग्जांपल, राइट सो दैट इज लाइक मात्रा स्पर्श ठीक है जब आप अपने मटेरियली uh, कुछ टच करते हो सो वेरी वेरी क्रूड एग्जांपल, ठीक है बट आप uh, ये ग्रॉस तरीका है रब करने का कभी कभी आप सटल भी टच करते हो मैटर को सटल मीन्स uh, उससे आइडेंटिफाई करके ये मेरा घर है इसमें आग लग गई है फॉर एग्जाम्पल तब भी आपने मटेरियल टच किया सो सो बेसिकली ये कभी कभी प्लेजर क्रिएट करता है ये टच और कभी पेन क्रिएट करता है ठीक है सो so, सारे प्लेजर और पेन जो है ना वो uh, मात्र स्पर्शा के कारण होते हैं okay, जब मैटर को टच करते हैं उसके कारण ऐसा होता है सो so, जैसे ही स्पर्श होता है वैसे ही एक इंप्रेशन क्रिएट होता है माइंड में ठीक है and that could create some impression right or wrong for you okay so that is actually the crux of all the pleasure and pain that we feel around us okay it's only because of this matra sparsha nothing else theek okay. hai so in fact agar kisi ko yaad ho discover yourself ka fifth session humne bahut saal pehle kabhi ek kiya tha right uh, anybody remembers what was that session all about quite <laughs> all right <clears throat> so that session was about uh, <clears throat> it was called substance and shadow okay so this basically where we talked about ki soul jo hai wo <clears throat> uh pehle spiritual world mein rehta tha and uh, ek point pe wo spiritual world se aaya aur uh, yahan par aake phas gaya aur jab wo aaya yahan pe to he uh, she started experiencing dualities ठीक है 
डुअलिटीज का मतलब होता है जो द्वंद होता है हैप्पीनेस और डिस्ट्रेस हानि और लाभ सुख और दुख सर्दी और गर्मी और इस तरह की जो चीजें होती है ना उस तरह की चीजें राइट एनी एनी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डुअलिटीज कैन यू थिंक ऑफ एनी बडी pain yeah okay pleasure and pain yeah yeah even victory defeat uh, healthy and diseased right uh, things like that uh, uh, jeet aur haar aur is tarah ki cheeze so duality is like you know agar ek phase hai to dusra bhi hai saath mein so aise dwand wali situations ko dualities kehte hain so yeah so basically पहले जो सोल है वो सोल वॉज इटरनल बिफोर दिस सोल इज ऑलवेज इटरनल एंड स्पिरिचुअल राइट और uh, अभी वो मैटर के कॉन्टैक्ट में आके इट स्टार्ट थिंकिंग की इट इज द बॉडी राइट सो दैट इज वॉट इज हैिंग दैट या सो बेसिकली बिकॉज एंड ऑल दीज डुअलिटीज कम इन सो so so basically uh, now i think we discussed once but anybody remembers like who suffers when body or soul hai right so <coughs> suffer kon karta hai agar chot lagti hai to who suffers or who enjoys i mean you as a person you got hit to abhi chot kise lagi body ko ya soul ko ya kise prabhu ji body ko lagi बट बॉडी तो डेड है ना मतलब <coughs> तो बॉडी को चोट कैसे लगेगी तो जो मतलब जो लगी हो बॉडी को ही लगी ओके okay. मतलब अगर अच्छा हुआ बुरा हुआ जो भी हुआ बॉडी के साथ ही हुआ सोल रॉन्गली एसोसिएट करता है बॉडी के साथ इसलिए वो एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपीरियंस करता है अच्छा या बुरा दोनों लेकिन सोल को कुछ नहीं लगता नहीं है या सोल को कुछ नहीं लगता और बॉडी को भी कुछ नहीं लगता एक्चुअली बिकॉज अगर सोल नहीं होता बॉडी में तो तो फिर उसे चोट नहीं लगती थी राइट right? अब उसे बॉडी को काट भी दो या कुछ भी कर दो इफ इफ द बॉडी इज नॉट अलाइव देन इट डजन फील एनी थिंग एंड सोल सोल इज ऑलवेज ब्लिसफुल सो सोल को भी चोट लगने का कोई चांस नहीं है राइट तो या जो जो चोट लगती है वो एक्चुअली हमारे मिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन के कारण हमें फील होता है हमने इस बारे में काफी पहले बात की हुई है राइट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ड्रीम राइट अगर ड्रीम में आप देखते हो कि मैं किंग हूं और बहुत सारे लोग मुझे मेरे आसपास हैं और आई हैव लॉट ऑफ मनी और कभी कभी आप ऐसा ड्रीम भी देखते हो कि आपको एक टाइगर पीछे पड़ा हुआ है और आप यू ब्रेक इन टू अ कोल्ड स्वेट राइट आई मीन आपको पसीने आ जाते हैं बट आइदर वेज आपको ना तो टाइगर पीछे पड़ा हुआ है ना आप किंग हो सो सिमिलरली सोल जो है वो ना तो सफर कर रहा है ना एंजॉय कर रहा है बट बेसिकली उसे बॉडीली कॉन्शियसनेस में फंस के वो ऐसा फील कर रहा है ना बॉडीली कॉन्शियसनेस क्या होती है विच इज अबाउट आइडेंटिफिकेशन विथ द प्लेजर एंड पेन ऑफ द बॉडी राइट आप जो फील करते हो कि मैं बॉडी हूं ये आइडेंटिफिकेशन एक्चुअली आपके लिए प्लेजर और पेन क्रिएट करता है सो दैट वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एग्जाम्पल राइट कि अगर आप रोड पे जा रहे हो और काफी लोग आसपास लड़ाई कर रहे हैं बट आप रोड पे अपने ऑफिस जा रहे हो एट दैट टाइम यू कैन चूज टू नॉट आइडेंटिफाई विद दैट सिचुएशन बट आप अपने चुपचाप ऑफिस जा सकते हो बट आप खड़े होकर तमाशा देखने लगोगे और फिर किसी को साथ भी चिल्लाने लगोगे आइडेंटिफाई कर लोगे तो आपकी भी लड़ाई हो जाएगी और आपकी भी पिटाई हो जाएगी राइट सो इट इज जस्ट दैट आइडेंटिफिकेशन विच क्रिएट ट्रबल और हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू बट इफ यू डोंट आइडेंटिफाई यस यू कैन कीप गोइंग लाइक सोल हमने लास्ट टाइम बात किया था राइट सोल स्टैटिक बैठा हुआ है और उसके अराउंड बॉडी जो है वो बढ़ती जा रही है और फिर चेंज होती जा रही है बट सोल को कुछ नहीं हो रहा सो इट इज बी आइडेंटिफाइंग विद दिस बॉडी विच कैन क्रिएट ट्रबल राइट सो ये सारे डुअलिटीज आर आर बिकॉज ऑफ ऑफ दिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन ठीक है बट रियालिटी ये है कि सोल इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल और सोल को सच्चिदानंद है और सोल को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता इन चीजों से uh, कि वो या ओके या नो इश्यूज नो इश्यूज 
okay so yeah soul basically goes through these all these imaginary situations the imaginary things use lag raha hai ki pain ho raha hai or pleasure ho raha hai we talked about the video game analogy also at times ki uh, it is like playing a video game jahan par aapko lagta hai kabhi ki wow maine uh, maar diya samne wale ko ya mujhe kisi ne maar diya aur hame bura bhi lagta hai aur acha bhi lagta hai so it is uh, <coughs> that's what is going on in fact uh, so in fact one more thing uh, to think about is like uh, we kind of uh, and 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 this even not interacting sometimes hum chhute bhi nahi hai cheezon ko apne haath se ya it is also still happens something to us like for example think about <coughs> fresh mangoes like like not uh, yeah exactly matlab uh, kafi meethe se mangoes hain now just by thinking about it uh, something happens right uh, uh, anybody can think ki i think and like you know uh, something changes for you something uh, you start thinking about them and you think ki kitne meethe juicy mangoes hain aur kaash mujhe main abhi fatak se leke aata hu aur khata hu although weather bhi nahi hai aisa aur wagera wagera 50 cheeze aapke mann mein aayenge so <clears throat> but what has happened there so even this sense as soon as come in contact with sense object uh, and, and this sense basically okay this is also a proof that the sense are not gross okay a very drastic statement to make jo hame lagta hai na ki hamare jo eyes aur nose hain ye senses hain but that is not true actually if uh, their senses are also subtle okay they are part of the subtle body uh, in fact souls also has senses but uh, ye jo hai na these are just holes that we have in the eyes and ears so even by thinking about a mango you get something uh, feeling right and something registered inside you ki mujhe khana hai ya nahi khana hai kaun sa khaunga wagera wagera just think about any other example rather than mango agar kuch aur aapko entice karta hai to so just thinking about it something registers and where it registers is the place called mind right or next time uh, बिकॉज आपने एक अच्छा मैंगो खाया था कभी तो उसकी यादें आपके मन में रजिस्टर हो रखी हैं और जैसे ही नेक्स्ट टाइम मैंगो सामने आएगा या आप उसके बारे में सोचेंगे भी यूल बी लाइक वाओ लाइक यू नो आई वॉन्ट टू हैव दिस मैंगो सो सो दैट 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 इज बिकॉज द सेंसेस अगेन आइडेंटिफाइज इंटरक्ट विद द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट और प्लेजर और पेन क्रिएट होता है डज इट मेक सेंस सो फार और इट डजेंट yes prabhu ji okay um yeah but i can um, so one one point which i um i just also said is like the senses are not gross senses kabhi kabhi subtle bhi hote hain senses are actually subtle only senses are not what we see them as so <clears throat> anybody knows uh, or remembers what are the senses that we have हमने कभी एक समय बात की थी इस बारे में कि हमारे कौन कौन से सेंसेस होते हैं सेंस ऑफ टच सेंस ऑफ विजन सेंस ऑफ हियरिंग ओके सेंस ऑफ टेस्ट एंड सो सो बेसिकली सेंसेस आर कैरेक्टराइज्ड इन टू वेज आई मीन एक पांच ज्ञानेन्द्रिया होती हैं और पांच कर्मेंद्रिया होती हैं ज्ञानेन्द्रिया लाइक आईज टंग टच इयर एंड नोज एंड देन देर आर कर्मेंद्रिया कर्मेंद्रिया लाइक वर्किंग सेंसेस जिनके थ्रू हम कुछ काम करते हैं माउथ फीट हैंड्स एन एस एंड जेनाइटल्स सो दीज आर फाइव वर्किंग सेंसेस ठीक है तो ये जो दस सेंसेस ज्ञानेन्द्रिया और कर्मेंद्रिया हैं वो सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक जो जैसे कि सेंस ऑफ टच इज लाइक सेंस ऑफ साइट सेंस ऑफ हियरिंग सेंस ऑफ स्मेल एंड सेंस ऑफ टेस्ट सो दीज आर द फाइव काइंड ऑफ सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स ओके जिनसे आप इंटरेक्ट करते हो जिन ऑब्जेक्ट से सो इनफैक्ट ये जो पंद्रह एलिमेंट्स है इनफैक्ट देर आर ट्वेंटी फोर प्राइमरी एलिमेंट्स दैट एग्जिस्ट और उसमें से जो फिफ्टीन एलिमेंट्स है ये Uh, इनका इंटरेक्शन इज कॉल्ड मात्र स्पर्श टेक्निकली ठीक है और इनके इंटरेक्शन से प्लेजर पेन लाइक डिसलाइक हैप्पीनेस सैडनेस और इस तरह की फीलिंग्स आती हैं इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इचिंग सेंसेशन इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक जैसे रब करते हैं हैंड को देन वी गेट इन टू समथिंग सो माइंड इज द वन विच डिसाइड्स कि ये अच्छा है या बुरा है 
or uh, this analytical study this of these 24 elements i mean not going to go deeper here but this is called sankhya philosophy i mean uh, understanding this ki se kya hota hai aur usse kya hota hai so basically <clears throat> uh, so summarizing again right ki matlab uh, dualities happen or sheet ushna sukh dukh is tarah ki cheez hai to sheet aur ushna jo hai wo winter and summer season and sukh aur jo dukh hai that is like happiness and pain right so ye sari cheeze paida hoti hain se but soul so difference to understand is jo ye happiness hai aur jo soul ka blissfulness hai jo anand hai soul ka anand wo is cheez se bilkul different hai soul apne aap mein jo sachidanand hai wo bilkul hi different hai jo se material पेन होता है या मटेरियल प्लेजर जो बॉडी का जो फील कर रहा है उससे कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट है तो इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक द डिस्कवरी ऑफ सेल्फ का सेशन फाइव का जो टाइटल था सब्सटेंस एंड शेडो सो द सब्सटेंस इज द आनंद ऑफ द सोल एंड दिस इज व्हाट सोल लुक्स लुक्स फॉर बट इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट दैट वॉट वट द सोल एक्सपीरियंस इज हेयर इट इज नॉट द सेम राइट सो 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 कृष्णा बेसिकली एज ही वॉज से राइट की वॉट ही सेंग हेयर इज की ये प्लेजर और पेन और इस तरह की जो सुख दुख और ये सब चीजें ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट डोमेन की ये जो आप फील करते हो उसके बारे में बता रहे हैं कि ये जब जो फीलिंग्स है इनसे कैसे इनको कैसे हैंडल करना है एंड आई विल टॉक अबाउट इट लाइक की क्यों कहते हैं ऐसा सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड दैट ही यूज एस हेयर इज अगम अपाइना सो इट मीन्स समथिंग विच हैज अ बिगिनिंग एंड विच ऑल्सो हैज अ एंड सो समबी कैन क्वेश्चन की यहाँ पे हैप्पीनेस है भी यानी हम इतने साल से बातें कर रहे हैं कि ये मिजरेबल प्लेस है वगैरह वगैरह बट यहाँ इस वर्ल्ड में हैप्पीनेस है या नहीं है मतलब वॉट यू थिंक एनी बडी वॉट यू थिंक डू वी हैव एनी हैप्पीनेस इन दिस वर्ल्ड और नॉट टेम्परेरी इज द राइट वर्ड एग्जैक्टली सो ये देर इज समीनेस बट इट इज टेम्परेरी करेक्ट या सो सुख और दुख जो है वो दोनों आते जाते रहते हैं एंड इट इज लाइक अ कॉइन राइट दे कीप कमिंग एंड दे कीप गोइंग सो बट सोल इज इटरनल और बिकॉज सोल इज इटरनल सो सोल लुक्स फॉर फॉर इटरनल हैप्पीनेस ओके बट एंड सोल नेवर गेट सेटिस्फाइड विथ टेम्परेरी हैप्पीनेस और डिस्ट्रेस बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली यहाँ पर सब टेम्परेरी है और इसलिए सोल को ऐसी टेम्परेरी चीजों से इतना सेटिस्फैक्शन नहीं मिलता है एंड एज आई सेट की जो ये डुअलिटीज है ना ये बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग है दे आर नॉट सेपरेबल मतलब दे आर इनसेपरेबल जैसे अगर uh, अगर किसी को प्लेजर फील हो रहा है तो उसे पेन भी फील होगा ओके okay. uh, अगर कभी आपको ऑनर फील हो रहा है तो डिसऑनर भी फील होगा इफ यू आई मीन लाइक यू नो दे के नॉट बी सेपरेटेड दे आर लाइक एक क्वाइन का दो 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 साइड है सो यू एंड अप एक्सपीरियंसिंग बोथ एट वन पॉइंट और दर दैट is how this whole thing is designed to be theek hai so hame apni consciousness ko khud hi adjust karna padta hai aur ye dualities keep coming in one way or the other that's how these things are right so in fact uh uh jaise ye jo bhi ho raha hai na in fact jo sheet ushna aur sukh dukh is tarah ki jo cheeze ho rahi hai na ye sara kuch as i was saying mind ka perception hai it is just something which is faced faced in the mind it is not a, a reality but you are facing it you are you are you are feeling it like you know it's a perception that you are feeling about it right uh, can you think of an example to prove ki matlab ye sirf mind mein hota hai ye reality nahi hai like sometimes we feel up some same, same thing we feel uh, happiness sometime and uh, distress sometime उसी चीज के लिए उसी सिचुएशन के लिए तो ये सब कुछ माइंड में हो रहा है जो भी हो रहा है ये सच में नहीं हो रहा है एनी एग्जांपल यू कैन थिंक ऑफ ओके आई गिव एग्जांपल सिंपल टू मेक इट इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी एनी विनिंग और लूजिंग फॉर एनी स्मॉल थिंग्स पीपल समटाइम गेट आई मीन यू गेट समथिंग यू गेट हैप्पी एंड देन यू लूज समथिंग यू गेट सैड Uh, yeah. even for a small material thing some not a good big thing but for a small small thing we get happy and sad ha uh, but they are different things right i'm looking for example where the same thing same situation you get into happiness and sadness sometimes okay i mean 
we are buying something new things maybe that we are we are happy and yeah. we are buying brand new things came up everyone is <laughs> no but money is going and we are sad but after maybe after one or two years the same thing will give you the pain that hey, what is correct this? yeah purchasing a new car right i mean when you purchase yeah. it you are like wow a lot of honor and prestige or jo uh, bhi happiness around it aur thode time baad jab maintenance pe aati hai baat and petrol uh, uske mileage pe aati hai then you are like yo man you know the so same situation same same thing but uh, things change right i mean like right now like thoda uh, i'm i'm assuming ki almost jahan bhi log baithe hue hain sabhi ko yahan par uh, thoda weather thanda ho gaya hoga right aur us weather mein abhi hame hot water se nahana acha lagta hai but do mahine pehle teen mahine pehle like you know when it was not so uh, cozy weather or whatever so at that time uh, if somebody asks you ki garam pani se naha lo then you will not be very excited about it right so the same person and the same water right same hot water and the same person right but things are have changed uh, you are feeling pain uh, two months back but wohi cheez aaj achhi lag rahi hai so it is our senses which are perceiving it hamare senses ko aisa feel ho raha hai ki abhi ye acha hai aur abhi wo bura hai ओके बट चीजों में कोई डिफरेंस नहीं आया सेम बॉडी है और सेम वाटर है सेम टेम्परेचर है बट द सेंसेस आर सेइंग कि अभी अच्छा है और अभी बुरा है सो दैट इज व्हाट कृष्णा इज सेइंग कि इट इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ सेंस परसेप्शन ये जो प्लेजर और पेन है ये बिल्कुल सेंस परसेप्शन के कारण है इसमें कोई आपको एक्चुअल में कुछ नहीं हो रहा है इट इज जस्ट योर सेंसेज आर टेलिंग यू की इट इज गुड और इट इज बैड दैट्स वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन ओके so in fact and also what he says is agam apa you know i mean like anat anityas so he says ki jaise summer shuru hota hai aur summer uh, khatam bhi hota hai right winter bhi shuru hua hai aur winter bhi khatam ho jayega so krishna says ki do not get disturbed about it okay uh, this all of these things have a beginning and also an end in fact even even thinking of examples of uh, similar things like uh, agar 10 degrees अभी विंटर होता है हमारा यू नो सो देन इट इज लाइक कि ओ मैन कितना ज्यादा ठंड लग रही है बट अगर किसी मे बी आई नो नॉर्थ पोल में या इवन इवन सम यूरोपियन कंट्रीज आई मीन टेन डिग्रीज इज कॉल्ड समर राइट एंड दे आर वेरी हैप्पी अबाउट इट कि वाह समर आ गया टेन डिग्रीज वेदर हो गया तो सेम टेम्परेचर पे किसी को अलग फील होता है और किसी को अलग फील होता है it is just the senses which are telling somebody ki abhi acha weather hai aur abhi kharab weather hai so mind is telling us all of that depending on wo kis desh mein baitha hua hai so uh, same thing is perceived by different different people also correct and uh, as i said ki the senses are subtle senses are never gross uh, they are not gross senses hame aisa lagta hai but ye upar jo hai ye sare holes hai the actual senses are in the subtle body right and it can be very easily proven any time so uh, you can you can you can actually experience it <laughs> right now also agar main aapko aisa kuch bolu na ki imli right kitni ikhatti hoti hai aur you know uh, aaj subah maine imli dekhi aur kitni achhi imli main khareed ke laya aur itna acha laga wo imli ko kha ke uski chutni bana ke you know just think what is going on in your mind <laughs> jab main imli ke bare mein bar bar bol raha hu why do you feel that uh, something is happening people think that upar ke senses se cheeze perceive hoti hain andar jati hain but it is actually the senses are inside and this is just the window uh, through which the the actually uh, the actual senses feel things but anyways the different topic will not go too deep into that so 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 basically uh, senses as i as i said earlier right senses jab sense object ke touch mein aati hain to mind mein kuch to hota hai right some some conclusions mind make and, uh, and 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 it figures out ki kya sahi hai aur kya galat hai uh, basically uh, and it is so weird uh, matlab itna ajeeb ye itna zyada important hai is bare ko is baat ko samajh samajhna in fact pichli vars was talking about ki gross body se aap identify karte ho but yahan par aap uh, subtle body se misidentify karte ho aap ye sochte ho ki main mere mind ko jo lag raha hai na wahi mujhe lag raha hai actual mein but that is not what is going on and this is more painful identifying with mind is the cause of a uh, lot of suffering agar aapko matlab body ko gross body ko agar aapko 
खाने को नहीं मिलता फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर अ डे और टू देन यू नॉट कमिट सुड राइट आपको खाने को नहीं मिला तो आप उसके लिए कभी सुसाइड नहीं करोगे बट अगर सफरिंग uh, माइंड पे हो जैसे कि इट कुड बी एनी थिंग इट कुड बी लाइक हो किसी को उस लड़की से शादी करनी थी और वो लड़की नहीं मिली राइट सो दैट सफरिंग इफ इट इज इन द माइंड देन डेफिनेटली यूल 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 थिंक अबाउट सुइसाइड सो इट इज वेरी ट्रबलिंग राइट सो माइंड थिंक्स की अरे यू आर दिस बॉडी एंड अभी ये नहीं अचीव किया लाइफ में तो देन वी बेटर फिनिश दिस बॉडी सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स राइट आई मीन एटलीस्ट इट इवन हैदराबाद में भी कुछ केसेस हो चुके हैं आई आई टी में पीपल एक्चुअली दे वेंट इन टू आई आई टी और वहां पर जाके कभी अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आए वट एवर समर्सन केम सेकेंड इन द क्लास एंड दे कमिट सुसाइड बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट ओ माई एग्जिस्टेंस इज अबाउट दैट आई एम अ टॉपर सो नथिंग लेस देन दैट Uh, make sense in my life so i better finish my life right so such silly things people do just because they identify themselves uh, with something and they are not able to handle such uh, such uh, pains and pleasures of life right so the next thing krishna says here in this verse is called tam uh, titikshaswa bharata right so uh, uh, so titiksha means like to tolerate okay so basically what he is saying uh, bottom line is ki are aapne hand ko rub kiya na to aapko itching hui thi aur wo itching jo ho rahi hai na that may sound good to you sometime and sometime bad but whatever it is you are left with no other option you have to tolerate that itch that is what it's all about why uh, so why do you tolerate because uh, this is the nature of the world okay this world is going to bring these kind of experiences to you sometimes pleasurable sometimes painful either ways you have to tolerate both of them yeah so in fact last two verses jo hai na usme krishna was talking about uh, uh, theoretical knowledge more about okay you are a soul and not this body but uh, as we know right uh, ki remaining on that platform is very very difficult uh, so why why we are not able to remain in that platform because uh, hum body ke sath itna indulge hai na itne phase hue hain body ke cheezon ko leke that uh, uh, we ca- we end up identifying with the body our identification is already very very strong that we somehow uh, go back into that bodily thing ki nahi nahi ultimately sab kuch samajh mein aa gaya but hu to main body right that is very very natural so so uh, so basically uh, you know so this knowledge like that we getting uh, this knowledge is uh, required to turn it into a realization okay without uh, following understanding this particular knowledge you cannot realize that you are not the body and you are a soul why how is because uh, what he is saying is the key to it that you have to tolerate जो भी हमें समझना होगा कि जो हमारे आसपास हो रहा है ना कभी हमें कुछ चीजें अच्छी लगती हैं कभी खराब लगती हैं देन वी बेटर टॉलरेट नाउ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग ही सेज कि सुख और दुख दोनों को टॉलरेट करना हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस या या फिर शीत और उष्ण इन दोनों को टॉलरेट करना है वाई ही सेज कि मतलब हैप्पीनेस को भी टॉलरेट करो वाई ही सेज दैट बिकॉज हैप्पीनेस तो इजी है ना मतलब टॉलरेट मीन्स दुख होता है तो टॉलरेट करना होता है वॉट अबाउट हैप्पीनेस एनी थॉट या मैं मेकिंग सेंस वट एवर आई एम सेंग सो हैप्पीनेस को टॉलरेट करने के लिए आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू पुट अप अकॉर्डिंग टू माइनस स्टैंडिंग इट इज पॉसिबल दैट हम बहुत ज्यादा हैप्पी हैं से फॉर एग्जांपल तो हम मतलब कुछ एक्स्ट्रा कर जाएं या मतलब वी टेक सम डिसीजंस व्हिच माइट बी बियॉन्ड बियॉन्ड अ सर्टेन लिमिटेशन और बियॉन्ड सर्टेन स्कोप प्रॉब्ली दैट इज व्हाई इट इज बीइंग आस्क्ड टू टॉलरेट इवन हैप्पीनेस सो दैट वी मेंटेन आवर Uh, mode of understanding or mode of perception and uh, control our uh, control ourselves so that we we behave in a particular way 
सो सो एक्चुअली हम हम टॉलरेट का जो मतलब समझते हैं ना उससे थोड़ा ज्यादा है टॉलरेट टॉलरेट करने का मतलब यू नो लाइक वी थिंक कि अरे पेन हो रहा है हाथ में चोट लगी है ब्लड निकल रहा है तो ओके सह लो बट इट इज इवन हैप्पीनेस इज अ प्रॉब्लम ओके और इट इज मोर डिफिकल्ट टू टॉलरेट हैप्पीनेस और ऑनर्स और गुड थिंग्स देन टॉलरेटिंग द बैड थिंग्स इन लाइफ क्योंकि बैड थिंग्स तो आपको पता है कि ठीक है टॉलरेट करो अभी ब्लड बंद हो जाएगा वगैरह बट वेन यू गेट इन टू हैप्पीनेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर सेंग राइट कि मतलब uh, आप होम uh, टाउन पे गए हैं तो यूर प्रैक्टिस इज गेटिंग अनस्टडी राइट नो बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू बी डन थिंग्स आर वेरी गुड देर राइट सो दैट बिकम्स अ बिगर ट्रबल टू टॉलरेट देन इनफैक्ट इनफैक्ट डिसऑनर को टॉलरेट करना थोड़ा ईजी है बट ऑनर को टॉलरेट करना इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इमिडिएटली यू बिकम प्राउड अबाउट इट as soon as you get into some honor so anything good happening in life uh, uh, end up uh, creating more trouble for you as in if you have thought of ki nahi matlab theek hai mujhe morning mein uthke 16 rounds karna hai or any other spiritual practice immediately goes for a toss any anything goes for a toss it could be anything as soon as uh, things are on the positive side too much <laughs> i hope i make sense It does make sense. Uh, probably just I mean trying to understand it. Hmm. Uh, so it means that we should always, हमें हमेशा सम व्यवहार करना चाहिए हमेशा है ना चाहे दुख हो या सुख हो तो कैसे भी सिचुएशन हो चाहे कोई हमें ऑनर कर रहा हो या हमें डिसऑनर कर रहा हो we should always uh, be equally posed probably yes. is that yes right? yes yes, yes. Almost like you know we should not identify too much with those things. हमें ये समझना चाहिए कि ये जो सुख है ये भी चला जाएगा और ये जो दुख था वो भी चला जाएगा But मैं as a soul eternal हूं right? और uh, I have to behave similar uh, in a in some way, okay? And mm-hmm. I continue to just travel my journey without identifying with neither the gross body nor the subtle body. कि ये जो pleasure और pain है ये सब mind में हो रहा है पहले तो हमने ये बात की और ये जो हो भी रहा है ये खत्म हो जाएगा थोड़े टाइम बाद इट इज नॉट परमानेंट ओके एंड दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी एबल टू रियलाइज एज एज से रियलाइज दैट यू आर अ सोल एंड ऑलवेज बी इन दैट प्लेटफॉर्म यही कारण है कि हम इस प्लेटफॉर्म पे रह नहीं पाते ज्यादा देर बिकॉज इमिडिएटली वी स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट थिंग आफ्टर द क्लास फिनिशेज हम अपने अपने काम में लग जाते हैं एंड देन इट इज ऑल प्लेजर एंड पेन आईदर ऑफ दैट Uh, इसी तरह का कुछ हो रहा होता है सो दैट्स व्हाट ही सेज की टॉलरेट ओके सो या इनफैक्ट दिस इज दट दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर द नॉलेज ऑफ द सोल हैज टू बी अप्लाइड दिस इज लाइक दैट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दैट थ्योरी कम्स इन दिस इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर अ सोल देन यू कैन अप्लाई दैट सो अगेन एज आई से कि ये जो भी uh, uh, In fact, he gives two example, right? Shit, usne or sukh duk. But hey, I mean, faltu me kyon do example diye? I mean, we can think of ten examples. Why he gave these two examples? Uh, any any thoughts? Anybody can think? He shit usne means like you know, uh, winter and summer, uh, or hot and cold, and uh, happiness and distress. These two examples he gives. So why he gives these two specific ones? Maybe one for. Uh... मतलब नो मैटर वॉट अगर ग्रॉस बॉडी में कुछ फील हो रहा है या सेटल बॉडी में कुछ फील हो रहा है उन दोनों से आइडेंटिफाई मत करो ओके जो हो रहा है अंडरस्टैंड की ये ये आगम अपाइनो अनित्य है बेसिकली इट इज टेम्परेरी थिंग इट हैज अ बिगनिंग एंड इट हैज एंड इट विल गो अवे जो ऑनर मिल रहा है वो भी चला जाएगा और जो डिसऑनर है वो भी चला जाएगा और uh, इसलिए जो भी हो रहा है दैट इज दैट विल गो अवे ऑन इट्स ओन यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप इट राइट सो बट यू हैव टू बी यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड नॉट एसोसिएट विद दिस थिंग्स नॉट आइडेंटिफाई विद दिस थिंग्स डू नॉट थिंक कि अरे मैं मेरे मुझे ऑनर मिल रहा है एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट सो that is how we can be at the level of soul not easy but that's the only way 
and it's simple i mean if you are if you if you think that yes i am not this body you you'll be able to very easily tolerate these things uh, very very easy i can tell you um so this is i mean as as he says right ye sab winter or summer seasons aate jaate rehte hain so you because wo aate jaate rehte hain isliye there is no point of paying that much attention to these things because you are not temporary as i said right you are you are you are um, uh, eternal और क्योंकि आप शाश्वत हो इसलिए आप अपने काम पे ध्यान दो आप इन चक्रों में मत पढ़ो ये सारी चीजें होती रहती हैं दैट्स हाउ इट इज ऑल अबाउट राइट सो समर हैज अ बिगिनिंग एंड 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 एवरीथिंग सो इट लेट इट लेट इट एंड व्हेन एवर इट हैपेंस और फिर विंटर आएगा और फिर समर आएगा एंड दैट विल कीप रिपीटिंग सो इनफैक्ट your aim if your aim as a soul is to realize yourself or you know whatever if you that is your goal then even to realize that a lot of tolerance will be required that ye pakki baat hai because body will keep changing uh, environment around will you will keep changing because ye sab anitya hai aur aur change hota rehta hai beginning hoti hai aur fir end hota hai aur fir beginning hoti hai ye hota rehta hai right because like har kisi ko young rehna hai aur agar young nahi ho to aapko pain hoga things like that so situations keep changing but if you want to move ahead in your path uh, as a soul then you have to keep tolerating it okay and just go on that's uh, the point does it make sense yeah. so uh, so what we are I and mean, what we are saying that uh, we should be in the neutral state and then focus on our main goal and this will you know continue and then let it continue but we should not bewilder with it's all uh, sukh and dukh and uh, heat uh, heat and cold things to be that's what we are, we are saying um uh, yeah roughly of that sort matlab basically the point is <clears throat> do not identify okay you can enjoy but not identify with that situation ki theek hai bahut acha lag raha hai thand hai acha lag raha hai subah subah but iska ye matlab nahi hai ki subah agar maine socha hai ki main morning mein uth ke uh, 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 शावर लेके और उसके बाद मैं चैंटिंग करूंगा तो आई विल नॉट स्टॉप जस्ट बिकॉज इट इज कोल्ड एंड इट लुक्स वेरी वेरी डोजी एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट सो आई विल नॉट स्टॉप डूइंग माय ड्यूटी सो इनफैक्ट इफ यू थिंक राइट लाइक चैतन्य महाप्रभु से शिक्षाष्ट कम राइट कि त्रिना दी सुने चे ना तरो रे वही सुना मानी ना माने देना कीर्तनीय सदा हरि राइट कि अगर आप वन ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट इज की आपको टॉलरेंट होना है ट्री की तरह राइट right? कि अगर सिचुएशन आपको कोई आपके फल भी तोड़ ले या कुछ और कर ले वगैरह वगैरह बट यू यू रिमेन स्टडी इन योर ड्यूटी वट एवर यू आर यू यू डोंट जस्ट मूव अराउंड जस्ट बिकॉज कि कुछ हो रहा है इसलिए मैं कभी ऐसा करूंगा आज मैं लेट उठाऊंगा uh, कल मैं जल्दी उठ जाऊंगा वगैरह जो भी है राइट यू रिमेन स्टडी इन वॉट योर ड्यूटी इज एंड देन ओनली यू कैन डू कीर्तन या सदाहारी अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इनफैक्ट स्पिरिचुअल पाथ में आगे बढ़ने के लिए या किसी भी पाथ में इनफैक्ट आगे बढ़ने के लिए राइट आई मीन थिंक ऑफ योर सेल्फ एज अ स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू टॉलरेट दीज थिंग्स यू के नॉट गो फर्दर अभी आज टीवी में कोई अच्छा मूवी आ रहा है या कुछ बाहर फ्रेंड्स खेल रहे हैं अगर आप वो टॉलरेट करके आप अपने ड्यूटी पे ध्यान नहीं दे सकते हो देन इट विल नॉट वर्क इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क लाइक दैट राइट सो रूप गोस्वामी बोलते हैं उपदेश अमृत में कि बाचो वेगम मनसा क्रोध वेगम बेसिकली सेस कि बेसिक ये सारे वेग होते हैं कि मनसा क्रोध वेगम जिव्या वेगम उधर उपस्थ वेगम सो ही सेस दिस सिक्स वेगा जाते हैं जब आपको कभी बोलने का मन होता है और बोलना नहीं बोलना चाहिए या नहीं ये सोच रहे हो आप थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट और क्रोध आ रहा है किसी के ऊपर और ये सारी चीजों को टॉलरेट करना इज ही सेस द The very very important. He says कि अगर ये सारी ये छह चीजें अगर आप tolerate नहीं कर सकते हो, then forget about even teaching somebody. I mean, you know, uh, he and he says कि if you are able to tolerate these six things, so then you can uh, preach in the entire world. You can make the entire world as your disciple. Uh, this is what he says. So uh, very bold statement, basically. So yes, but uh, uh, the the point is yes, uh, it it is not possible. Any anything we want to achieve in life. uh without toleration without tolerating things it is not possible so so yeah that, that i i think you can relate to it right i mean um 
पीपल हु हैव डन समथिंग इन लाइफ आपने जब पढ़ाई की थी तब आपको टॉलरेट करना पड़ता था राइट कि आज एग्जाम का टाइम हो रहा है चाहे जो भी हो मुझे अपने आगे बढ़ना है राइट घर पे कोई मेहमान भी आए हैं तो नहीं मैं अपनी पढ़ाई पे ध्यान दूंगा एंड दैट्स द ओनली थिंग नो इट्स नॉट अबाउट इक्वीपॉइस इक्वीपॉइस की मैं बिल्कुल इनर्ट हो जाऊँ इन चीजों को लेकर बट बट देर देर इज समथिंग टू बी डन दर देर इज अ ड्यूटी टू बी डन सो सो जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट uh right so how to do that i mean like you know how do we uh, tolerate basically uh, as i said ki knowledge of soul if you know understand that yes i am a soul and all these experiences that i am going through is temporary so that helps uh, in in this okay at the time when when you are not able to do that uh, there is other ways like you know propal says somewhere in in a book that uh, like it's like uh, अपमैन कम्स टू गिव यू अ मैसेज राइट अभी आपको जो मैसेज मिला कहीं से आया था एक टेलीग्राम और आपको मिल गया आज तो ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है टेलीग्राम वगैरह बट आर थिंक ऑफ इट एज लाइक व्हाट्सएप मैसेंजर इन अ मोर रिलेवेंट एग्जांपल राइट व्हाट्सएप मैसेंजर में एक मैसेज फॉरवर्ड आया आपको और अभी आप मैसेंजर को तो मार नहीं सकते हो राइट आई मीन और वट एवर पोस्टमैन पे शाउट करना इज नॉट डज नॉट मेक सेंस बिकॉज ही इज जस्ट डिलीवरिंग वट यू डिजर्व is what you are being delivered right so aapke ye sab jo ho raha hai ye sab karmic reaction hai at the level of karma we can think of it like this ki uh, if you are getting honor or dishonor it is just the karmic reaction so it's okay whatever happened happened i mean it's just tolerated because uh, you cannot shout at a postman just because a message is delivered to you right in fact uh, the devotees thinking for this is oh whatever is happening it is krishna's mercy right or he is giving whatever is giving uh, for elevating me in my spiritual life theek okay. hai so that is how a devotee would think about it uh, and uh, right uh, does it make sense okay i hope it makes sense right <laughs> i don't know uh, virtual world you don't know much going on right okay uh -uh. yeah so basically uh, the other i mean the one of the reasons why we also think get into trouble when whenever things are not the way it is going is because we think that we are controllers okay uh, which is not true because hum jo hai wo hum bahut hi higher forces se bound hai whether we agree with it or not i mean Uh, and this can be seen practically right law of karma i mean we are bound by that no matter what aapke jo sukh aur dukh aa rahe hain wo sare aapke purane karmic reactions ke karan ho rahe hain if nothing then time is a big factor krishna says uh, in further down ki matlab i am time so time is one of the thing that uh, actually keeps working on it aapko young rehna tha but aap old ho rahe ho and you cannot control it then these miseries right hum if anybody remembers right in discover yourself we talked about three fold miseries adhyatmik adidaivik and adibhautik right they are they are the ones who keep giving us miseries and we cannot control it also they are way beyond our control so so these things are are acting on us all the time so these pleasures and pain uh, keep coming right uh, prabhupad ek bahut hi acha ek ek kisi book mein likhte hain ek purport mein कि वंस ग्रेटनेस कैन बी एस्टिमेटेड बाय वंस एबिलिटी टू टॉलरेट प्रोवोकिंग सिचुएशंस ओके क्योंकि क्या होता है ना कि आपको uh, ऐसे तो बड़ी बड़ी बातें सभी कर लेते हैं थियोरेटिकल लाइक द वे आई एम टॉकिंग राइट नाउ बट व्हेन द व्हेन द रियल सिचुएशन कम्स देन देन योर एक्चुअल टेस्ट हैपेंस ओके एंड द टेस्ट एवरीबडी हैज टू गिव आई कैन टेल यू एवरी ऑल ऑफ अस ऑल द टाइम uh because that's when the character of a person is figured out theek hai ki how great you really were you really are not uh, based on what you talk or what you <laughs> tell everyone kyunki badi baatein karna bada aasan hai but uh, basically uh, during that time only the the greatness is is estimated i mean there are so many examples in uh, scriptures about uh, great peoples uh, who actually behaved this way like i mean i don't think i'll have enough time to talk about them but i hope you know about uh, some of them like prahlad maharaj for example right prahlad maharaj ka kitna all sort of things happened with him unke father ne he tried 
uh, whatever he could right yeah so but but basically he he was not he was unflinched i mean i mean jo life mein jo decide kiya hai ki vishnu is the supreme then he didn't bother no matter what is going on or think about parikshit maharaj right i mean uh, the small thing he made a small uh, thing he did jo uh, 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 snake dal diya tha unhone aur uh, unke uh, <laughs> the brahmana's son cursed him and he could have actually killed that brahmana's son also i mean or he could have even counter cursed also he was capable of doing it ki wo ja ke aisa kar sakte the ki wo brahman ko bhi shrap de dete but no he assume he he took it as lord's mercy and he tolerated it and um, and he did something because of which we get so wonderful thing called shrimad bhagavatam right so so uh, so uh, so many examples in fact like you know ranti dev Uh, that's the last picture i don't know if you know that story but uh, he was an amazing uh, uh, king i mean he 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 was actually praying at a place thinking ki ye sare world ka uh, bhala ho sabko khane ko mile iske liye unhone bahut tapasya ki theek hai aur baad mein jab unki tapasya puri hui to unhone apne uh, bivi bachcho ke sath he was he thought ki he will have his prasad aur uh, kafi sare prasad aur water unko mila and he thought ki theek hai let me have it and suddenly kafi log aage wahan pe uh, somebody came asking for uh, food so unhone thoda to apne uh, wife or children ko diya baki food dusre ko de diya then uh, another person aur aadha food bacha tha thoda sa he he thought he'll come go and eat tabhi ek uh, aur aa gaya person with the dogs and he said ki mujhe bhi food chahiye mere dogs ko food chahiye and then he said ki theek hai unhone apna food bhi de diya bacha kuch hai us dog ko and then he thought ki chalo water hai water pee leta hu because kafi din ho gaye the and he knew ki agar wo abhi nahi khayenge to he will die probably uh to ek aur aa gaya chandal aur usne bola ki mujhe uh, water chahiye and he thought ki you know i can actually <laughs> take this call ki mujhe ye water chahiye otherwise i'll die but this guy is asking for water and he chose to give him whatever water was there with him okay and then these people all of them were actually devtas they all transformed into devtas after that and they said ki we came to test you ki aap jis baat ke liye tapasya kar rahe the are you actually fixed on that or not as i said right ki matlab badi badi baatein karna is very easy but when it comes to practical uh, application are we able to apply them or not in our life right so but so many examples i mean like you know uh, haridas thakur for example uh, he was uh, I, i don't know if you know that story but he was beaten in uh, 22 market places mein le ja ke unko unko uh, he was beaten by a muslim king theek hai saying ki you stop chanting hari krishna because he was muslim by birth so he was said ki ye sab aapko nahi karna chahiye and uh, haridas thakur was still unfazed like you know he was not bothered at all uh, he, he he was he stick to what what he decided uh, ambarish maharaj and and so many examples from from bhagavatam and elsewhere right so yeah so basically that's what it is now what do we do i mean if we tolerate as i as, as i said already right ki matlab it is agar aap purport padhenge na to purport mein ek bada hi uh, interesting sa uh, turn hai like you know uh, suddenly this thing uh, krishna is talking about ki are shit ushna sukh dukh ye sab tolerate kar lo but uh, prabhupa shuru karte hain purport in the proper discharge of duty one has to learn to tolerate okay so ye प्रॉपर डिस्चार्ज ऑफ ड्यूटी कहां से आ गया मतलब यहां पे तो ऐसे डिस्चार्ज ऑफ ड्यूटी के बारे में तो कृष्ण बात ही नहीं कर रहा है सो इट लुक्स लाइक आउट ऑफ कंटेक्स समवेयर राइट बट व्हाई ही इज सेइंग दिस इज बिकॉज अर्जुन इज क्राइंग क्योंकि भीष्म द्रोण मर जाएंगे यू नो इफ आई फाइट सो कृष्ण इज सेइंग हियर की डोंट क्राई यू नो एवरीवन विल डाई एंड सो ऑल दीस थिंग्स आर नॉन परमानेंट जो आपको फील हो रहा है सो डू नॉट गेट इनटू दोस those things but uh, stick to your duty okay so because arjun is getting into the same matra sparsha and that is not the gross ma- matra sparsha jo hum haath se uh, kuch khate hain ya whatever like gulab jamun khaya to acha laga ya tasty laga ya nahi laga no it is about uh, the subtle matra sparsha jo ki aapko sentiments feel hote hain so because my father my relative my this thing or uh, ये सारों को जो भी होगा सो दैट इज वॉट कृष्णा इज सेइंग कि इस मात्र स्पर्शा पे मत फंसो व्हाट ही सेइंग इज बेसिकली 
why you're, you're getting into the same bodily conception when you are thinking about it so do not get into that bodily conception in fact Prabhupada gives two example in his uh, uh, purport right <laughs> one is about uh, um, men take bath in the mag in the month of mag ki matlab you know subah subah thand hoti hai mag mein aur generally village men or whatever a pious person he uh, he actually gets up earliest in the morning okay aur subah subah jaake wo nahate hain baad mein people will go and others will go and take bath so of course i mean aaj aajkal log ye bol sakte hain ki theek hai kabhi kabhi do teen din mein ek bar naha liya but but uh, the, what the example prabhupad is giving is ki that that's what uh, you have to do right because that is your duty because that is what you are supposed to do every morning so no matter what you have to get up early and take bath the other example he gives us women cooking in the summer season right agar aap dekhenge to if you read that purport so that is about like you know no chulha ya is tarah ki cheezon mein jab cooking hoti thi ek zamane mein so of course uh, it is not very pleasant right agar aapko afternoon mein समर में कुक करना है बट अ वुमेन डज हर ड्यूटी शी इज नॉट बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट कि क्या फील हो रहा है सो इन बोथ ऑफ दीज एग्जाम्पल्स दे एक्चुअली गो हेड एंड डू देयर ड्यूटी दे डू नॉट गेट साइड लाइन बाय वट एवर दे आर फीलिंग राइट दे टॉल रेट सो दो एग्जाम्पल्स दैट प्रूफ आर गिव्स इनफैक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन अंडरलाइन ऑल्सो समथिंग which is almost yeah, there is some interesting thing to underline yeah in the <clears throat> in the first paragraph towards the end one has to follow the prescribed rules and regulation of religious principle in order to rise up to the platform of knowledge because by knowledge and devotion only can one liberate himself from the clutches of maya so this is a very very interesting statement the last few lines of the first paragraph that only by doing this only by tolerating as i said earlier right i mean if you want to uh, go into the platform of knowledge of the knowledge of soul then you have to tolerate there is no other way or knowledge or devotion ye do cheezon ke sath hi aap illusion se bach sakte hain okay you can liberate agar aapko liberation chahiye to sirf knowledge or devotion se possible hai. there is no other way out so this tolerate tolerating by tolerating you actually get that knowledge um yeah <clears throat> any questions so far prabhu ji one question i have hmm um abhi uh, the few examples that uh, you talked about right ki tolerating uh, situations uh, different yeah. different kind of situations so usually uh, we give uh, i mean we tolerate the pain i mean hmm. unpleasant situations or pain suffering so we have to tolerate uh, because that is uh, prescribed and that is the right way to stay steady yeah uh, do we have any examples where we tolerate the positives ha as i said right ki matlab okay bahut sare examples hain agar aapko abhi uh, 50 crore rupaye mil jaye right to aap kya karenge matlab will you be the same person i mean will you actually still think ki uh, mujhe bhagwan ki pooja karne ki zarurat hai for example राइट right. अब तो मेरे पास इतने पैसे हो गए हैं मतलब लाइफ बहुत अच्छी सी है और 50 करोड़ एक्चुअली बहुत बड़ा नंबर नहीं है आई आई वुड से लाइक यू नो वट एवर समथिंग ऑफ एन एपसेट नंबर वेर यू कैन परचेस योर ओन आईलैंड एंड हिल्स एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट राइट सो इफ यू हैव दैट मच मनी देन विल यू एक्चुअली स्टिल डू दैट और नॉट और यू गो गेट इन टू एंजॉइंग योर लाइफ बिकॉज अब तो बहुत हो गया राइट that is very very difficult to tolerate that particular side of things agar aap top kar jate ho kisi exam mein iit mein right will you actually still think ki nahi nahi this is happening because not because of my own endeavor but also because of my past karmas and also because of krishna's will right will you still have that faith or you will get into ki nahi jo kiya hai wo maine kiya hai because main hi body hu and i am intelligent and all those things will you not get into that mod- bodily identification jab aapke sath aisa hoga so yeah yeah this uh, provoking is uh, much stronger than tolerate mm-hmm. unpleasant situation king unpleasant situation mein hamara dimag rehta hai ki ye pain ho raha hai to tolerate karna hai wo natural response bhi aata hai body se 
नहीं है पॉजिटिव स्टेटमेंट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंट्रोल यस यस फटाफट हम बॉडी से आइडेंटिफाई कर लेते हैं जैसे ही प्लेजर आता है सो दैट्स व्हाट ही सेइंग कि प्लेजर और पेन दोनों इक्वली प्रॉब्लमेटिक है और दोनों को टॉलरेट करना जरूरी है देयर इज नो नो वे आउट या थैंक यू प्रोफेसर ओके सो इसेंशियली व्हाट कृष्णा इज सेइंग एंड एज प्रभुपाद मेंशंस इन द परपोर्ट आल्सो राइट कि देयर आर सर्टेन ड्यूटीज जो कि हमें करनी ही है राइट right? और uh, उसके लिए उसके अराउंड अगर सुख दुख जो भी आ रहा है उसके आपके उसके अलावा जो भी हो रहा है फॉरगेट अबाउट इट डू नॉट बॉदर राइट एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर कि जो हो रहा है ना जैसे समर का बिगनिंग है और एंड है उसी तरह से विंटर का बिगनिंग और फिर एंड आएगा एंड सो दैट विल कीप हैपनिंग राइट एंड और हम लोगों का माइंड क्या करता है ना जब समर होता है तो लगता है कि नहीं नहीं Uh, अभी तो थोड़ी ठंड हो जाए और बारिश होनी चाहिए और फिर जब बारिश होती है तो हम फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाते हैं कि अरे ठंड हो गई है मतलब यू नो गीले हो रहे हैं और फिर उसके बाद फिर से विंटर आता है एंड थिंग्स कीप चेंजिंग लाइक दैट एंड वी कीप गेटिंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ऑल द टाइम राइट सो डू नॉट बॉदर आइदर वेज यूल बी फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ज्यादा पैसे भी फ्रस्ट्रेशन का ही कारण बनेंगे और कम पैसे भी फ्रस्ट्रेशन का कारण बनेंगे सो आइदर वेज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ट्रस्ट मी एंड एंड थिंक अबाउट इट राइट सो सो द पॉइंट इज जस्ट टॉलरेट whatever is happening it is temporary and it's going to go away okay so um yeah so basically bottom line is is that again just underlining the point again that external situations external circumstances uh, change hote rahenge so do not do not uh, deviate from your duty of whatever you are doing like arjun ki duty was being a kshatriya uh, he had a prescribed duty of fighting so wo uska dharm tha fight karna so so he was doing that and we have some other uh, standards whatever it is right you just follow your standard no matter what is going on okay uh, if you want to be glorious that's what krishna is saying you know you want to be glorious okay fine you follow your uh, follow your duty do not get into this matras parsha thing uh, like for us our duty is like okay chanting the prescribed number of rounds so aaj nahi kiya to kya ho jayega aaj के दिन तो खुशी का मौका है तो आज नहीं करते हैं या आज तो इतने दुख की बात हो गई है तो आज नहीं करते हैं वगैरह वगैरह राइट सो बट द बॉटम लाइन इज टॉलरेट दो सर्जेस एंड डू दैट ड्यूटी और इफ समबडी डिसाइड्स कि नहीं नहीं मुझे सिर्फ प्रसाद ही खाना है सो इफ दैट इज योर ड्यूटी देन यस यू गो आउट यू सी समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग सम किसी के घर जाते हैं और कोई कुछ बताता है कि ये खा लो वो खा लो वगैरह वगैरह एंड दैट इज द टाइम वेन वी हैव टू टॉलरेट just this this principle can be applied pretty much anywhere uh, and, uh, and of course uh, uh, it always liberates us but material cheezon pe apply karna is a mundane uh, waste of this knowledge <laughs> this knowledge is meant to and and, and krishna is giving this knowledge for <clears throat> for you being a, a soul right that you are a soul uh, and you have some duty just think at that level and follow that duty in fact this verse is the first time when there is a hint of karma yoga which comes okay karma yoga ka matlab kaam karte raho nahi hai karma yoga has a different meaning altogether so this is the first time that hint comes but for the lack of time hum wo hint ignore kar dete hain and uh, when the karma yoga comes then we will talk about it but uh, uh, anybody any any anything you can think about i'll just uh, close quickly is like you know where because of uh, uh, the spiritual practice that we are doing the uh, your tolerance has increased anybody felt like that ever okay uh yes prabhu ji because uh, in the uh outside world uh, uh we don't uh, uh you know that uh, whenever it is a even that two exciting thing or two bad things we kind of take it normal mm-hmm. and uh, uh earlier you know that uh, uh, i mean we used to get a lot of ang- anger lot of angerness used to come and all when you know, small small thing wow. but uh, more and more we hear uh, uh, you know that it's like that every week we hear every week we get a one medicine <laughs> to tolerate this and uh, more and more we uh, uh, 
uh, you know that uh, learning to uh, tolerate these things and then even that uh, uh, looking at that you know that uh, what is our whatever you are talking about that uh, our major uh, prescribed duties for our uh, spiritual life and all so yeah. more and more we are doing chanting more and more we are hearing uh, it is giving us a uh, kind of uh, automatically more tolerance are coming right yep in fact uh, I'll, I'll, i mean that is the beauty of uh, holy name i mean like you know uh, it actually gives you these good qualities for free and because of these good qualities you are able to uh, do uh, <laughs> do the chanting better and then it gives you good qualities for free uh, as a by product so basically it's a cycle uh, a devotee of krishna he he anyways goes into a totally different mode i mean as we are not there yet but uh, generally uh, everything whatever happens in the life he thinks of it as krishna's mercy he thinks of it as krishna in fact uh, that this is a way krishna is coming in fact uh, prabhupad gives a one of the lectures he, he tells about his own life he tells ki he <clears throat> he was in calcutta or calcutta mein bomb gir rahe the world war 2 mein okay japanese were throwing bombs or sari taraf awaze aa rahi thi siren baj rahe the aur bombs gir rahe the aur log bhag rahe the idhar udhar and prabhupad was uh, uh, sitting and he was uh, uh, cooking puris okay uh, puris bana rahe the wo baith ke and to offer to the deities that's what he was doing and people said ki ye kya kar rahe ho matlab you know chalo bhago matlab this time anything can happen and uh, this is not the time to offer uh, prasad i mean you have to basically <coughs> bhog offering ka time nahi hai this is the time to run away uh, prabhupad said ki see krishna says i am the death i mean you know this looks like death it looks like krishna is here he is coming for us okay now if krishna is here then let me offer him something whatever i can do for him okay uh, something good for him so so that was his consciousness at that time so for a devotee he is able to see everywhere everything as krishna's mercy ki jo hua mere sath bura ya acha ye matlab isse zyada bura ho sakta tha but the whatever you have done is small drop apne mujhe anyways bahut hi kam dukh diya but i deserve much more so so that is what uh, yeah but interestingly the spiritual uh, <coughs> path actually gives you a lot of good qualities and that is the reason by the way ki why chanting i mean why chanting the holy name there's no uh, there's no uh, other reason the reason is simple that uh, uh it's the, the simplest understanding at least at our level is to get uh, rid of all these problems okay of life uh you can actually get rid of these problems uh, that is the uh, i would say bahut hi basic jaise log karm yog ko samajhte hai na ki karm hi puja hai to at least kuch nahi samajhta to itna samajh lena chahiye ki holy name can actually deliver you from these problems it can actually liberate you from these problems it is way way more than this but <clears throat> the yeah any other example so you have one more example which uh, i mean we realize after chanting and uh, i mean association and all these things that the reaction time for any situation gets reduced the impulsiveness towards the hmm. any situation the i mean the prom i mean uh, i mean the impulse reaction which we do Uh, that reduces in the moment you give to yourself and then you keep uh, i mean undwelling and get into this that yes the situation is just temporary so these things come and uh, the impulsiveness gets reduced that's what i have realized and i have faced wow. yeah yeah definitely i mean yeah, yeah we become more uh, level headed <laughs> uh, i would say yeah the bottom line as i said uh, for all of this uh, like what krishna is saying in this verse is ki or previous verse also is that you get out of the identification with the gross body and here he is saying ki jo subtle body se jo identify kar rahe ho na that also you leave so if you don't if there is no gross body and subtle body then what is left is soul and in the next verse i mean next verse when it comes <laughs> and uh but that's simple so as i said earlier also right ki this 2.13 2.14 and 2.15 is the level of is the only thing that krishna says voluntarily on his own iske aage jo bolenge na 15 ke baad 
that will always be okay remember you read this uh, you know those guys are saying this and things like that and uh, that is the what he will be saying beyond that point and uh, after that it will be only question answer arjuna will ask question and krishna will answer but these three verses are like krishna's version of geeta <laughs> that's how i see it i mean you know then the next verse he'll say ki agar aap ye kar sakte ho na to you are fit for liberation you will get liberated just by doing this much okay so it is so amazing and and this is very clear i mean if you're not at the bodily level and is subtle and gross and then you are at the level of soul very clear and that's what prabhu pad writes by once you are at the level of soul then the devotion can liberate you there's nothing else remaining here okay so okay yeah so okay uh, that's all i think i'm out of time there is too much to tell about in this topic we can we can keep talking about tolerance uh, for whole night but okay thanks uh, any questions last questions or you done i have a small question prabhu ji that uh, 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 though we are you know that increasing the tolerance powers and all but still you know that in the general life if something something happen which you don't like even that mm. uh, you know that uh, we are focusing we are chanting but you know that other side of the brain is thinking about that so yeah, yeah. to overcome about that right multiple multiple answers for it basically uh, one is right now of course we are practicing uh, so it takes time to develop these qualities because humne kafi sare jo ye ho raha hai na the reason why we get into this uh, even this misidentification is also because of the impressions from the in the mind and these impressions are from ages uh jo hame koi cheez achhi lagti hai aur koi cheez kharab lagti hai that is not from this life maybe from the previous lives also so it takes time for these things to go away over a period of time definitely they'll go away that is for sure i mean i can i can tell you definitely i mean uh, 100% this is going to happen no doubt so but it takes time itna <clears throat> itna kharab mela kapda hai to use dhone mein time lagta hai right ek safai mein bhi nahi jata so things like that so so it takes time but uh, it goes away but other i mean so yeah the, we have to tolerate till then that's what krishna is saying i mean if you are at a level of soul then there is no problem but that's what krishna is saying here like because you are not so tolerate uh, whatever happens just focus on your duty just do not get sidelined by anything else okay um, yeah that's that's what it is I mean, we have to tolerate there is no other option till now till we get into the level of soul okay does it make sense um i cannot hear you if you are saying something yes you can you cannot hear me and now i can does yeah. it make sense or not i mean yeah yeah yes prabhu ji yeah yeah, that, yeah that's what he's saying okay. that tolerate i mean yeah but over a period of time this will go away that this is just a temporary phase this also is a temporary phase and we don't realize jab hamara plane ud raha hota hai na tab hame pata chalta hai ki ud raha hai matlab take off kar raha hai but take off karne ke baad when it is in the steady state we don't realize ki how fast we are moving <clears throat> and and that is the time when we are moving the fastest so uh, this is the situation i mean over a period of time i mean you are actually we are all progressing but we don't understand realize that that is happening and somebody who sees us after 10 20 years uh, will realize i mean in fact um, i i can tell that i have met people i have met devotees who have completely transformed that is <clears throat> the source of faith for me there are so many things that we are talking about ambarish maharaj parikshit maharaj and haridas thakur um, they definitely are a proof <clears throat> that devotees are at the level of being a goswami they are the level of uh, being able to control their senses but even even people around us they themselves are a proof uh, so many devotees i mean they are they themselves are the proof of it that this process works okay all right i'm 10 minutes into it so let's <coughs> uh open the stage for minus pro okay yeah minus pro can start hare krishna hare krishna do you want to project your slides yes i'll do <coughs>
Hare Krishna. So today we are, am I audible? Yeah. Yes, Prabhuji. Okay. Okay, thank you. So today we are going to uh, learn a little bit about uh, Srila Gauravisa Das Babaji. So it is my humble attempt to bring some points, something to this forum. And I'm sure uh, with all your permission, I'll be able to speak a little bit uh, about him. I mean, he's exalted personality. So definitely, I don't have that quality or the capability to talk in detail, uh, nor even touch a little bit uh, of, of his uh, magnificence. But whatever we, I could gather from different sources, uh, I hope uh, we will uh, learn something from his life. So first, uh, the Pranam Mantra. Namangor Kisoraya, Namangor Kisoraya, Sakha Beragya Murtaye, Sakha Beragya Murtaye, Vipralambhara Sambodhe, Vipralambhara Sambodhe, Padam Bujayate Nama, Padam Bujayate Nama. So in the Pranamantra itself, uh, we can see few keywords which uh, depict uh, the qualities of, and the um, I mean, the excellency of um, Srila Gaurabhisattva Savaji. So <clears throat> I have highlighted them, like, you know, Boragya Murtaye, embodiment of eternal initiation, uh, which I'm going to talk a little bit more with some examples. There is also one other keyword that is Vipralambha, uh, for which I could not get much, but Vipralambha means, uh, uh, you know, the rapture and separation, like the Biraha Prem. Very higher, you know, very, very, very high state of uh, uh, Krishna Prem. Um, so uh, I'll request, uh, you know, if time permits, Nirendra Prabhu to cover some examples from that side because I could not much on that. But, but okay. I give, uh, there are, you know, actual examples, life uh, details that, uh, that that are available that, that we can uh, hear about. So this slide is, uh, uh, I think it's familiar to everybody. So this comes from Bhagavad Gita as it is. In the, introduction, um, in the introduction section, last page, the disciplic succession Prabhupada has given us so that we can understand how, I mean, where we stand <clears throat> in the lineage. So starting from Krishna and all the way to as if Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada uh, and then who started his come. So we are uh, under that. And as part of this series, uh, uh, we are covering uh, the Acharyas. So, so far we have covered, uh, uh, I mean, we are going today covering Gorgish Das Babaji. Earlier we had covered Bhakti Chidanda Saraswati and Thakur and Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Uh, now there is a little bit uh, technicality here in terms of how the disability success has flown in. <clears throat> so earlier I was also not very clear. I thought, okay, it is going directly. But then there is a detour happening here. Like Baladev, uh, the Jagannath Das Babaji, uh, his disciple is Bhagavad Das Babaji, and who has uh, given the initiation to Gauravisar Das Babaji. So it is going little, uh, you know, uh, I, I would say in an indirect way. Uh, so, and Bhaktivinath Thakur and Gauravisar Das Babaji, uh, they are more like contemporaries. Uh, and again, in the latter slides, we will hear about their pastimes, how they were interacting and uh, you know, how they were exchanging uh, the divine, um, you know, uh, uh, relationship. So that part we will also talk. Here is a brief life history of Burgi Sarpasas Babaji. I tried to put it into three sections. Uh, it is more, I would say, some of the data or uh, words or sentences carried from different sources. So Babaji, uh, born in 1838. So first 30 years he spent in his village, uh, you know, then uh, in between the 30 years he spent in Burundaban <clears throat> and the last 18 years uh, he spent in Mayapur. So in the first, uh, basically he was born in Bangladesh, uh, in the river of, uh, near the river of Padma, uh, the village is Bagjana, so I mean his birthplace, uh, in a Baise family and uh, his uh, original name, like the material name was Bansidas. So, from name itself, we can you know see that right. Already there was some divine um, <clears throat> footprints or some some kind of a signal already uh, he, he carried forward. So as per the custom, there was early child marriage. Uh, he didn't have any formal education, so he could not read and write. But then we'll see how uh, in the other la later life how it was really uh, 
contrasting uh, kind of uh, his uh, uh, i would say <clears throat> uh, his uh, reach in the spiritual side uh, and he was uh, for, you know living his life he was doing some agricultural activities and whatever income he was having he was honestly taking care of his family and all so this 30 years we so have more on the data side i don't have any <clears throat> other uh, details uh, on that but as soon as uh, i mean uh, during his life when his wife died around that time so he left his uh, family life and then uh, moved to brindavan so definitely there was some already some spark or some inclinations towards devotional life uh, going into um, i mean hankering for krishna's love so he went to brindavan and in brindavan he was serving the deities and uh, one of the key uh, qualities or key Uh, behavior that everybody <clears throat> were observing he was he was giving prostrate obeisances to everybody i mean starting from the deities to the residents of praja to tree flowers anything because he uh, you know he understood that okay i am in a holy land i am in a pious place and anything related to krishna is pious so they all deserve my obeisances my uh, you know my my uh, uh, yeah dandavat pranam so that is why he was doing so now uh, i mean typically unless a person is that uh, advanced right so this kind of thought process or this kind of behavior will not come naturally uh, normally we people hesitate or even if we they read something we do something but still doing that maybe okay we do that in a temple but doing that to everybody anywhere even to trees plant you know land that takes uh, that purity so that shows from his uh, uh, i would say you now this is more like his youth time right 30 to 60 that that period then um, um, i think in the last time we um, when we were hearing the uh, life history of bhakti vinod thakur so <clears throat> when he uh, um, established mayapur like um, this uh, discovering the um, holy dham um, chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, birthplace and holy dham then um, garukisa das baba ji got to know that okay mayapur is uh, now being resurrected and it is being uh, um, you know taken care by a holy person so he came to mayapur and uh, in mayapur he was always in a mood of deep spiritual ecstasy and dancing on the banks of ganga chanting gaura gaura and uh, I, uh, i i could visualize this uh, in one of the serials nandendra uh, sent right acharya serials where you could see he is roaming around in the jungle chanting um, gaura gaura and uh, in that mood he would lie unconscious sometimes on the ground <clears throat> and uh, uh, he would uh, um, the sacred groves chanting japa and sometimes on so basically he had a unique way of uh, chanting so sometimes uh, on the japa sometimes he doesn't have the beads then he would uh, tear the clothes uh, and then try to Uh, put knots on that and then try to use that and chanting so whatever comes to his hand he could use it for krishna service and uh, travel to the godram uh, godram deepa to hear sri bhakti varan thakur uh, so that time he came in association with uh, bhakti varan thakur who was uh, as we had last session uh, resurrecting all i mean basically reorganizing and putting them into a structure writing uh, the, the 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 script books and then conducting classes so he used to come to bhakti vinod thakur's residence to hear uh, uh, about uh, the shrimad bhagavatam that bhakti vinod thakur was reciting and sometimes uh, at his house to hear and discuss philosophy uh, and uh, he was illiterate by material standard as i said because he didn't have any formal education like most people in earlier days in the villages they may not get but he was very very highly spiritual early re- realized in the spiritual standards so this is more on the data and then towards the end of uh, like 1908 he lost eyesight so there is a first time when he lost eyesight uh, so his disciple uh, bhakti chidanta saraswati and thakur he wanted to take him to doctor and then he denied no no i don't want to go to doctor and all i am okay with this so he was more renunciate for any material pleasure anything uh, so this is more on the history uh, i'll talk more on his qualities which uh, adds uh, more rasa to uh, 
what he is for how he was exhibiting himself and then uh, so basically he lived a very simple life bairagya i mean that was his uh, motto bairagya uh, poverty without really taking any help from anybody uh, being humble uh, being surrendered to krishna and chanting the holy name all the time so that was his life and staying away from crowds he was just living on the jungles uh, on the banks of ganga did not accept any material goods from anyone and one uh, one you know key thing is i mean one thing is even for covering the body he used to not ask any cloth from anybody he used to take the uh, thrown away cloth from the corpses in the in the banks of ganga so you can think imagine you know to what level he was renunciate he was also doesn't care like uh, i just have to cover my body the basic necessities are required fine i'll take a cloth which is kind of uh, thrown away so i just take that i'll not ask uh, anything because why unnecessarily uh, have any attachment or any connection with anybody uh, if it is not for krishna so he used to beg rice uh, put it in uh, the river water put some salt chilies and have it uh, uh, you know in in that part of the world right in bengal or odisha pakhala is usually how they know because you don't get any curry or dal right you used to put the rice in water put chilies put salt and uh, eat it so uh, he was at that level not bothering about any other additional um, items for you know food and all so that is the level of simplicity that he exhibited now in terms of his bhakti or exalted state so again he did not ask uh, anything from anybody no services are required for him and when a king um, of kasim bazar his name manichandra nandi so he was in, he heard about uh, baba ji and then he came and said okay why you are staying in this uh, you know jungle or in, um, under the trees you come to my palace and i'll provide you service i'll keep you in comfort and all these things so baba ji said no i don't want to go anywhere if you really want me to if you really want my association you can leave everything from the palace and come and i uh, you know stay here if you want so then the king fled he didn't uh, come back <clears throat> again uh, so he, uh, usually what happens is uh, after somebody gets into any spiritual path or religious path or anybody right so people start okay somebody is uh, touching my feet or giving me obeisance so pe- people start <clears throat> you know still sub- you know even in a subtle manner still that comes and uh, people probably don't realize that okay maybe i also start getting some puffed up uh, prestige or anything so to avoid all of this baba ji had a very clear rule no i'll cover my body with cloth nobody need to touch it uh, i don't want to get into this level of interactions with anybody so he was really uh, staying away so we can see how detached he was even even from that ang- angle uh, and he was considering himself okay no i am not a vaisnava i am just doing something uh don't bother me don't come to me and uh, do all these things so usually we see the contrary uh, people who do little bit also they try to say oh, i am a vaishnava and all this but he even being exalted was staying very humble and staying away from all these uh, uh, worldly or whatever connections and he had a very unique way of celebrating uh, um, sanatan goswami's disappearance day he said okay uh, we have to chant and uh, because today is special so you have to chant so why do uh, you know spend time in eating that is a waste of our time so let us skip the meal and chant the full day so that is another way, unique way of uh, dedication and surrender to whatever he was trying to do uh, there were few cases where uh, people were trying to do charitable activities say okay build this build that all this right he said no no don't get into all these charity things because uh, the charity seems to be a nice activity but you will get distracted from your core path uh, let's say for charity you need some some money or something and uh, for that either you will start earning something or you will start getting something so unnecessarily your energy will be wasted there side so don't do all these activities only focus on krishna uh, again there were some uh, typically in, in in that time right so if somebody is really doing practice people start to uh, you know do a crowd around him trying to say okay now we have a baba now he is going to bless everybody so let us put some ashram some temple something something right so people do try to offer a lot of things so there was a young devotee who was very energetic wanted to do something 
So he thought, okay, I'll do these things and Babaji will be happy. So he, somebody was offering some lands and all. So, uh, and there are two aspects. First of all, I said, don't do all these things. I don't need anything, only chant. Second, uh, in Mayapur Dham, everything belongs to Krishna. So whoever is selling or whoever is buying, right? All this is nonsense. Don't get into this thing. You know, a mere grain of sand of the transcendental Navadipa is more valuable than all the precious gems in this world put together. So who is buying and who is selling? Don't do all this. Uh, just focus on what you are supposed to do in the dham. So these are some of the qualities. How that shows how what what level he was, and uh, uh, so so what happens is when somebody is like this, uh, it is actually very rare. I mean, it's very rare to find such a gem. And if somebody finds, then how to uh, take advantage or take the advantage of the association, right? So that is how uh, the relationship between uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, uh, Srila Gorki Sardas Babaji, and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati uh, is about. Uh, so in the previous slide, earlier slide, I had given how who is connected to whom. So this slide is talking a little bit more about who is the disciple of whom or who is the guru of whom. Uh, but um, we can focus more on these three blocks. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, um, he used to call Bhajananandi to Gaur Gustav Babaji. And uh, as we know, Bhakti Vinod Thakur's son is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Now, um, he, uh, basically in 1897, um, that time only Gaur Babaji came to Mayapur. So maybe it is only a year or two kind of association between Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. And uh, Ajay already told, right, Karukista Swabaji was going to Bhakti Thakur's house to hear Bhagavatam. And he was living his life uh, like the way, I, uh, like, you know, like uh, in poverty, already, you know, always of chanting the holy name and all. But Bhakti Thakur, being who he is, he could recognize the, the, the level of devotion that Karukista Swabaji has. And uh, he um, recommended Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur to get initiation from Gorkhisar Swabaji. I mean, so his wish was okay, if you want to get the initiation, take it from Babaji uh, because uh, he understood okay, this person carries Krishna with him. Uh, so, uh, Bhakti Nath Thakur, uh, and actually, when Gorkhisar Swabaji was coming to Bhakti Nath Thakur house, so he also met Bhakti Nath Saraswati and uh, kind of initially he gave the ropes for chanting, okay like a young person, okay, you want to chant, okay, chant on this. So that was like a casual kind of interaction. But after Bhakti Thakur said, you must take initiation from Babaji Maharaj and don't return to house unless uh, you do it. And uh, in the um, in the Acharya uh, serial, right, in, in, um, in the, whatever he has said, in the, in the Acharya serial, uh, I could see how Bhakti Saraswati Thakur became uh, very, very eager. And it, it was like uh, life and death. Uh, you know that much of uh, eagerness to get the initiation from Angkarpisa um, Swabaji. So the way Bhakti Sangsar Thakur is saying, okay, I am, I have read all the sastras, I have got all the knowledge and all these things, but I don't uh, feel that, uh, uh, and I, I don't get uh, the actual uh, rasa without a guru, and uh, no one else can be my guru other than you. So he started approaching Angkarpisa Swabaji to initiate him many times. So every time Gorkhisar Swabaji will find a way or the other to uh, send him back. Uh, don't, I'm not guru. I I, I don't. Uh, I'm not a Vaishnava. I, I don't give any diksha. Nothing. Nothing. So he used to just dissuade him, saying, "Okay, don't come to me. I, I'm nobody like that." He used to send him away. The more Gorkhisar Swabaji was sending him away, Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati was. I mean, his intensity was growing more because he said, "Okay, I'm lena to any sale naai. Nee to nee lena." I mean, it, it was like that level. So, I mean, the way these interactions were happening, right? Uh, you would see each was each is competing with the other in the level of spirituality, in showing the intensity of ex the pure, uh, uh, you know, guru uh, kind of relationship. So, uh, many after many rejections. So, I uh, heard, you know, read it uh, in one of the article is uh, where uh, Bhakti Sanat Saraswati said, "Okay, I need to." Uh, I mean, in the Actually, there are two versions, and I'll tell the both versions. Uh, uh, in the serial that we see in uh, YouTube, there, um, 
when Bakhti Sen Saraswati is pleading, pleading and showing that, okay, he really means uh, this initiation, uh, then Bakhti Sen Saraswati said, okay, go and uh, take bath uh, and come back. So he goes to take bath and then comes and then he gives the Guru Mantra in his ear and uh, uh, asks him to repeat and then basically that is the initiation process. So it is it is more, uh, I would say, subtle, uh, uh, more direct way or more uh, normal way of uh, that, that happened. But in the other article that I read, where because Bhakti Samsaraswati Thakur, like, you know, he was a strong, you know, mentally uh, resolving, you know, uh, resolute person, right? So he wanted to do it uh, anyway. So he gave all his pleading, all these things. And at one time, he said, okay, Babaji, if you don't give me initiation, then I'll, I don't, I didn't, don't need to live anymore. I'll just, uh, you know, jump from the bridge into the Ganges uh, because I don't think my life is worth anything. So it was more uh, in that sense, Bhakti uh, Babaji felt, okay, this person is really eligible to take uh, um, Krishna Prema. And then he agreed to become his guru. And interestingly, uh, I mean, he had only one disciple and that is him. So, Saraswati Thakur, uh, Bhakti Sivan Saraswati Thakur. After that, I mean, Gorkhisar Babaji didn't have any other disciple or anybody. So we can understand how exclusive this interaction was. It was purely meant for only one person. And uh, I mean, we being uh, you know, now in the lineage, we could see uh, the you know importance of Gorkhisar Babaji, who chose Bhakti Sansarashti Thakur as only disciple who later passed from this uh, scriptural knowledge to Bhakti Vedanta, I see Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. Who established all these things so such a critical link in the lineage uh, again um initiated in 900 only disciple he gave the gift tiger skin a hat and hat and basket with puja samagri basically this is what uh das babaji had received from his guru Bhagavad das babaji so whatever he had received the same thing he handed over to bhakti jadam uh, then some other past tense is uh, you know, Gorkhisar Swabaji was like, okay, I, I I don't need deserve any anything. I I just want to serve uh, my Lord in my chanting, whatever I have. So even he had a wish, like uh, uh, if I you know when I die, then my body should be dragged in the lands of um, uh, the Dham, uh, my Dham, so that I get the dust. So it was like the example of a humility to what level he was considering himself. Uh, so at that level, I mean, it is his, uh, adv- you know, spiritually advanced stage. Uh, but then, uh, definitely, it is his, uh, and it is his, uh, I would say, uh, clarity or spirituality. But then at the other level, other people need to respect him like a guru, right? So, uh, but then uh, what happened was some, there was some uh, mahans uh, nearby who thought, okay, because that is how the Babaji wanted, so let us do that. So they were about to do that and all. Then Bhakti Sasan Saraswati Thakur rejected and objected everything. Saying, no, 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 don't touch anything, anybody. He is my guru. I have to res- respectfully do his uh, spiritual uh, ac- activities. So no need to touch anything. So here there was some kind of a conflict because uh, it sounded like both are right. Uh, because at one stage, Guru's wish is like this. Other stage, disciple wants to do something. Uh, which is spir- spiritually and scripturally correct also. Uh, and Mahants were trying to do their own, uh, they, ha- they had their own motives. They wanted to just make a show of it and uh, maybe gather some crowd and get something, get some wealth or something, something and put somewhere. So, th- you know, those kind of situations where it was really uh, kind of a dilemma, which way, what, all these things. Bhakti Sam Thakur said, okay, I mean, uh, nobody touching my guru. Uh, if uh, and only those people can touch who did not have an illicit sex. Uh, if you are cheat and you are touching, then you know you will be like uh, ill vanish here or you will suffer or something. So all those people who were gathered there, they, they all went away. So they didn't have that much purity to even come forward. So that is how uh, you know Bhakti Sam Saraswati Thakur could uh, take the um, uh, the body and then he. Uh, put gave a samadhi, put a samadhi uh, at one place, uh, and then he uh, worship, uh, started worshiping there. And basically, the way I mean, because all his spirituality goes through the guru, right? So he had to do all whatever is required uh, or whatever he wanted to do 
uh, in terms of worshiping all this and later the, there was some flood that happened and then he shifted uh, the samadhi from one place to another place um, and um, they, they basically they established that now regular um, rituals uh, worships and all these things are happening uh, and then one interesting thing is uh, bhakti sam sasitha last in the last session we heard about it right so bhakti sam sasitha kur had taken the first initiation like uh, um, the Dik diksa the sanyasa initiation he had not taken yet now when it was time for him to take sanyasa initiation then he did that in front of uh, the image of his guru so for him guru was everything i mean guru and guru image uh, the samadhi it was like uh, life for him so he was taking care i mean he was that much dedicated to his guru and uh, why because guru carried that much of uh, spirituality and that much of uh, purity uh, and uh, that, that is why he worshiped him so it is like uh, you know a transcendental uh, kind of relationship between them uh, i don't know if i have time uh, prabhuji uh, but actually these two stories are uh, um, by bhakti sam saraswati thakur uh, they are in krishna.com in the two stories uh, how bhakti sam saraswati thakur is talking about gorbi uh, sadas maharaj uh, from his uh, uh, you know life uh, so first story is uh, some there was a doctor who came to navadeep and who who tried to uh, i mean he had two agendas one was okay i will be in Nav in, in holy dham and i will do some you know free service as a doctor and uh, at the same time i will also stay here and uh, get the benefits uh, pious credit staying in the navadeep you know navadeep dham so he uh, also gave an example i mean he also quoted from shastras chaitanya charitramrut saying how murari gupta uh, did something similar and he brought it this kind of example to gorakesh sabaji and asked permission okay can i stay here and can i do this so gorakesh das sabaji's response was uh, i mean don't compare yourself to murari gupta he is uh, uh, murari gupta is an eternal associate of lord chaitanya and is always residing in the holy dham so he is residing already there and then um he, uh, he as a service he is doing some activity again that is for the lord so so that is you know that is starting in dham and all activities are associated with that but what you are doing is you are coming from outside trying to stay here and uh, you have some material agenda and to fulfill that you are trying to just put a spiritual covering so don't do that so it is very subtle way of uh, you know giving a teaching uh, where uh, you know we normally might you know try to cover okay i'll do some i'll chant today and i'll go and do some bad activity or okay i'll do something and then so we uh, you know we try to misuse uh, that 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 spiritual path so this is like a warning saying okay don't try to do that do whatever you have to do do for the lord uh, so on this one i'm not sure uh, if you want to add anything on or clarify this thing uh, i could understand that much not uh, you know about that uh, yeah so so i mean probably basically the way i mean if you are asking me like you know the way to understand this is we cannot uh, imitate uh, the great personalities okay correct yeah the kind of yeah. things that gaur kishor das baba ji himself demonstrated Uh, we cannot even imagine to imitate it at all in no cost it is not possible uh, like you know uh, i mean so many past times right like, it's not possible these are exalted personalities and, yeah we can only right. follow yeah right. and and this story prabhu ji I, i i i don't i am not able to really express this um because this is a little at very 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 highest level even how krishna um hides the devotees uh, from general public so so it is a, like like a interaction between how krishna takes care of, of the exalted devotees and uh, uh, not uh, i mean the, the devotees would look like okay they are normal people but uh, it is by design krishna doesn't want the devotees uh, to be flooded with unnecessary interactions unnecessary crowding and all these things so uh, and this is what i could get but i am not able to really fully grasp it uh, at that level okay what exactly uh, is, is the rasa here um, so 
if you could how can i know a vaishnava so if you could uh, explain more on this yeah i have to read through the story book but um, bottom line okay just what you are saying i'm just trying to understand what this uh, slide says but <clears throat> gorki sodas baba ji in general was very uh, didn't wanted to come in front of public i mean you know he would do anything to to stay away from people okay so that he can peacefully chant he will go to the level jab aap bata rahe the na ki bhakti san saraswati aur bhakti vinod thakur when they approached him ki chalo calcutta aur calcutta mein aapki eyes ka uh, operation karke theek karwa denge and he said ki you know so he he jumped into ganges wo unhone bola aur bahut der tak wo chale gaye these people were worried ki kahan chale gaye gaur kishor das baba ji kafi der baad wo bahar aaye ganges se and he said ki dekho agar mujhe bologe na calcutta leke jane ki baat तो उससे अच्छा तो मैं यहीं पर ही वो करने को तैयार हूँ यू नो बट मैं कहीं भी नहीं जाऊंगा मायापुर छोड़ के आई विल नॉट गो एनी वेयर एंड ही वाज ऑफ दैट नेचर सो मेनी वंडरफुल स्टोरीज अराउंड हिम लाइक यू नो ही वुड हाइड लाइक एनीथिंग वो ऐसी जगह जाके चैंटिंग करते थे जहां पर आप जाना भी नहीं चाहोगे एंड द पर रीजन ही हैड वॉज की लोग आके परेशान ना करें मुझे और मैं पीसफुली कर सकू सो Okay. Yeah, we can go ahead, bro. I think. Yeah, and the okay. last actually, think, that's is, uh, what the crux of the thing is. Yeah. So yeah, so this is uh, I, I, you know the um, his uh, uh, idol is uh, being worshipped. So that's this is his samadhi actually uh, yeah. in Chaitanya Math in Mayapur. So yes, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, this is his this is his sam his samadhi actually. Jo Chaitanya. मठ में बेसिकली दैट इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती दिस इज वेयर इट इज मतलब आप अगर कभी जाएंगे हम जब भी मायापुर तो वील सी की मतलब इट्स अ वेरी अमेजिंग एट दैट टाइम भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ने इतना ब्यूटीफुल वो मठ बनाया था ना दैट वॉज द मेन मठ दैट ही हैड थ्रू आउट इंडिया और वहां पर उन्होंने राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड बनाया है और गोवर्धन बनाया है बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुल सा है ही हैज अ बिग लाइब्रेरी एंड that was the place from where he used to operate and that's where his guru samadhi he made and that's where uh, uh, bhakti san saraswati ki samadhi bhi usi wahi par hi hai so uh, very wonderful place but ha uh, gorki so thank you prabhuji i mean this is very amazing presentation in fact very difficult to touch a personality like gorki so das baba ji uh, or any of the any of the acharyas i mean you can just imagine how they were matlab uh, in fact yes, like so. bhakti sir so the parampara just a word on that is like parampara the way the guru is a very uh, interesting concept it is not just ki aapne uh, kis se initiation liya but who actually uh, i mean at least the, the 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 arrows that you are showing right the basically the parampara is also uh, the, the the guru is also whom you surrender to as a guru like you know so yeah we should not think too much about this line here and there it is actually jagannath das baba ji to bhakti vinod thakur to bhakti sidan saraswati that's how it is uh, in, in between gorki sudas baba ji basically that's the that's the that's the line like, like the, no no need to get confused on on anything else basically it is the line that bhakti sidan saraswati explained to us agar aapko we can someday whenever we meet we can we can sing this song agar kisi ko dekhna hai to this song actually that i pasted Uh, talks about the parampara as bhakti sidan saraswati described it and uh, that's how it is like you know whom you surrender to whom you take inspiration from uh, that person is the guru it is not even sometimes about uh, so that is why the guru can be either a shiksha guru or a diksha guru uh, it it is not very uh, hard and fast on that okay there are examples around it also yeah so yeah okay but thank you bro ji this was very wonderful and actually covered a lot of it thank you bro ji thank you um, thank you everyone bro ji thank you bro ji very wonderful yeah sure revol kal gulri stop krishna and guru yeah um okay so any anybody with uh, shlokas you know we are very late but i don't want to disappoint the kids I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, 
ट्रांसलेशन Thus, the self-controlled yogi, cons, uh, constantly engaged in uh, yoga practice, and uh, your voice is breaking. I am not able to hear. Ah, uh, Prabhuji, I'll start the translation again. Okay. Um. Thus. the self controlled yogi constantly engaged in uh, constantly engaged in yoga practice becomes free from all material contamination and achieves higher state of per- perfect happiness in transcendental love service to the lord yeah very good thank you yeah this is hari krishna yeah this is another way of krishna saying the same verse that we were discussing but yeah thank you भक्तेश्वर विदाशति प्रभुजी हरे कृष्णा या या मन मना भव मत भक्तो ममिया जी मम नमस्कुरु मम एव सत्यम ते प्रजते प्रियो ट्रांसलेशन ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ मी बिकम माय डिवोटी वर्शिप मी एंड ऑफर योर होम एज एंड टू मी दस यू विल बिकम टू मी विदाउट फेलियर आई प्रॉमिस यू दिस बिकॉज़ यू आर माय वेरी डियर हरे कृष्णा Hare Krishna thank you very nice yeah it's madhya ji actually okay not mamiya ji okay prabhu ji yeah thank you anyone else okay i don't think anyone else here thank you thank you everyone uh, this was really wonderful uh, manas prabhu thanks thanks for everyone for giving this association yeah. thank you once more thank you पंचाकलोटिवैष्णवृंदकीय